AMS 2140, Coast Down Peak Hold Measurements. In this tutorial, I will show you how to collect peak hold measurements while the machine is in Coast Down using the AMS 2140. As we review this technique, you'll note a visual reference to the CSI 2140. Please be aware that this product has been rebranded as AMS. What is the purpose of these measurements? They are a method for identifying natural frequencies when no phase input data is available. In traditional measurements for detecting resonance, you use a vibration probe and a phase probe. If you are collecting typical peak phase data during runout or coast down, you'll have one plot indicating speed versus vibration level and another indicating speed versus phase. When the machine goes through a natural frequency, the vibration level increases and you have a plot similar to the one bottom left. In this example, you see the machine go through two natural frequencies. In the phase plot above, you see the phase shift 180 degrees at the natural frequencies. While this is the traditional approach to resonance detection, it requires phase data. If phase is not available, but you are still able to collect data during the coast down of a machine, you can only expect to have a plot like this one of your vibration measurements. During the coast down, the AMS 2140 will measure many spectra, one after the other, and as quickly as possible. However, when the machine reaches zero speed, the analyzer presents only one spectrum, as you see on the right. This spectrum is special in that each frequency line indicates the highest amplitude measured for that particular frequency during the coast down. The peaks in the spectrum identify the natural frequencies of the machine without the phase information. Now let's look at how to capture this data using the AMS 2140. Here you see the home screen of the AMS 2140. Select F7 Advanced Analyze and then F7 again for more experts. Select F4 Coast Down Peak Hold. From here, you could push start to begin the measurements. But first, let's take a look at the manual settings in F1 Manual Analyze. The first thing you should note is that there is only one channel set for input, but natural frequencies are different in different directions. Since the AMS 2140 measures four channels simultaneously, now is a good time to measure the horizontal, vertical, and axial directions. Select F12 Input Setup, then F1 Select Input, and activate channels B and C. Now you can work with three accelerometers or with a triaxial accelerometer. On all three channels, I would like to see the results in velocity, so I quickly change the spectrum units from Gs to millimeters per second. Now I'm ready to collect data. I push Enter on the analyzer. and immediately I see plots for channels A, B, and C. When I stop the machine, you see the analyzer is collecting spectra data very quickly in three directions. When the machine is at almost zero speed, the measurements are done, so I'll push F3 or F9 stop. Now you can store the data in job mode using F9 key or review immediately by selecting F6 switch plot type. You can select what you want to see. Here you have three directions active, but you could easily disable channels B and C to focus on channel A. Next use F11 expand, and now you are able to clearly see the two natural frequencies. This concludes our tutorial. Please continue watching to select from other recommended tutorials or visit the AMS Reliability Channel for the AMS 2140 playlist. Additional product information can be found at emerson.com slash AMS 2140. Thank you for watching.